Hey guys, Andy here. So I've wanted for a little while to try one of the Kevlar hoodies. I always ride with Kevlar jeans or Kevlar lined jeans and thought I should try the uh, the upper body version of that. So I ordered this one uh, from eBay. That says Dimex. I know I've covered it. There you go. I covered it with my thumb. Um, I suppose the first thing that surprised me is actually the weight of the hoodie. So I think it's because there's like three layers in all. There's the outer, the yellow Kevlar look, and then the, I mean, it's very thin mesh inner layer. There's space for all the uh, protection. So if I pull the sleeves, oh, there's got an inside pocket look. If I pull the sleeves inside out so you can see the pockets for the elbow and the shoulder, then just tuck the, the protection up inside the pocket and, and just get the Velcro to seal, as with any other jacket really. That's nothing different. It's just... Make sure you've got all the, you get shoulders, elbows, and a back protector. The back protector being the harder one to fit in because it's quite a small hole from the bottom. So I just fold it around and jam it on up in there, basically. And then obviously pull your sleeves back through and uh, just check they kind of feel roughly like they're in the right place. And there we go. All good to go. So I think it's time to actually. Try the jumper on. This is the double XL. I'm not a small chap, so I went for the biggest I could get, which was the double XL. Seems fair old size. That seems to fit reasonably well for me. I mean, I maybe would go a little bit more space, but it's not a bit. You know, it does. I think it does. Maybe not actually. Looks to be a decent fit. And I don't think it's particularly. I mean, the reason I would be interested is kind of short trips to the gym. Or just short trips places, and you want to look a bit more casual, perhaps, than all your biker gear. And I think this this fits the bill. The padding all seems to be fairly well in place, and would uh, would be enough should you come off. So I figure, right, well, it's best time to get out and test it on the actual road. The first thing I noticed was that actually the wind can get through it. So you imagine with all those layers, you probably don't feel it, but you could feel the breeze, which is very nice on a on a nice day like this. I think the temperature is about 15. The riding, yeah, it's pretty good. But then when I got to work, the so many layers meant that I started overheating quite quickly. Uh, the ride home, where it's sort of 10 or 11 degrees, that for me that felt quite nice. But I like to be quite cool, almost cold. Um, so it's a bit bulkier than I was expecting, but it's so comfortable. The most comfortable jacket that you could wear, really, with protection as well. Fifty pounds on eBay. Use the link in the uh, video description. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.